good, people? It's your boy, City Nights INC, a.k.a. The Blog Killer, coming at y'all. I think this is, um, Blog 23. It's, um, pretty snowy day out, um, cold, East Coast, uh, winter, you know what I mean? Going down, um, you know, just got back from running some errands, spent a little time at the country club, a.k.a. The Barbershop. Y'all know what I do on Saturdays, you know, getting fly for the week and everything like that. I'm about to head out to the West Coast soon. Um, next week, so Seattle, I'm coming to see y'all, you know what I mean, um, gonna address a couple things today, cause, you know, that's what I do on these blogs, um, question one, because somebody asked me the other day, why do you blog, why don't I blog, that's the real question, <laughs> why don't I blog more often, um, hey, the reason why, um, I blog is because, you know, I got a lot of people out there that I don't get to see that often. I live, you know, different parts of the country and everything like that. Some different parts of the world over the pond and everything like that. And, um, you know, I'm just keeping everybody abreast of what's going down with me and how I feel about certain things and everything like that. Because uh, I meet a lot of people um, in the work I do and just, you know, being overall me. And, you know, it's just a way of me communicating with the masses and everything like that. And, you know, throwing a little bit of humor in there here and there. So why do I blog? This is why I blog. Everybody got a blog right now. So why can't I have a blog? So that's why, you know, I'm on here, you know, like maybe once a week, you know, talking to all my people. So that's the answer to the first question. Why do I blog? Why don't I blog more often? That should be the more que- That should be the bigger question. <laughs> anyway, number two. Social networks, social network roaches. That's the word I got from my God Mizzle um, the other day. I have to address social network roaches. Now, what are social network roaches, you guys may, you may be wondering? Well, um, social network roaches are people that add you as a friend but ro- don't really know you. Have you ever, have any of you ever experienced that? I'm pretty sure you have. I'm pretty sure you've um, inherited or got some roaches on your pages, whether it be Facebook, MySpace, any other other, any of the other um, social networking pages where people add you as a friend and um, you don't really know who they are. Um, maybe they added you because they saw you are a friend of someone they know, but just because um, they're friends with someone you may have known um, in a past life or let's say high school, college or whatever, um, or maybe grew up with, but you don't really know them at all. Um, that's what I call a social network roach from anywhere from MySpace to Facebook. You know, it's like, I appreciate people that add me as a friend and, you know, send me a message like, Hey, how you doing? Or, Hey, you don't know me, but I'm a friend of so-and-so that you know, and everything like that. I really appreciate that more than someone adding me as a friend just because um you stood in line behind me once or we were in the same class once or we went to the same high school but I barely know who you are. Um I'm not trying to say that I'm all that in the not not in the least but it's just like if you really add someone as a friend at least you know try to intro with like hey I know you don't know me or maybe you don't remember me or whatever give me a chance to try to connect you know the six degrees of separation because um I mean though I like the social networks because I really connected with some really cool people that um I haven't spoken to in over let's say 12 to 14 years I really like that aspect of it but some people it's just like hey you know we went to the they're adding me just because they saw me on someone else's page and you know what if I ignore your ad is because I really don't know you or maybe I just don't get down with you like that no more that those those are two reasons why I basically I probably won't add you um, but yeah, it's getting a little crazy because I ran into a situation and yes, I'm gonna put somebody on blast right now because that's what I do. Someone added me as a friend because they saw me on someone else's page and they thought, you know, um, I guess I was kind of good looking or whatever. But then when I tried to ask who that person was, because I emailed the person that we had um, a friend in common with, that person was actually replying back to my messages. So they they had my from my friend's password and are replying back to my messages and you know I was just kind of going back and forth about what I'm talking about now and that person was kind of getting a little upset and I thought it was my actual per- friend that I actually knew that was replying back to me that way and when, when I came to find out it was that person 
um, that didn't know me that was replying to all my emails back and forth to this person. So that's what I call a roach. Someone that is just won't take no for an answer. And, you know, it's, it's a little bit of desperation the way I see it. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, you're going to get some people, you know, they're just going to add you to add you. I mean, some of us, we all have, you know, those people we added because they're famous. We're all friends with Ashton Kutcher or Carl Thomas or God knows who or, you know, that that's cool. I mean, you got the celebrity sites and everything like that, but I don't ever claim to be a celebrity. You know what I mean? I'm just your boy, the blog killer. You know what I'm saying? City Nights, INC, doing my thing. So on that note, if any of you run across any um, roaches out there, any social network roaches, you know, ignore them. Ignore them. I mean, now, if you can honestly say you have spoken to somebody that, that's trying to add you over the last maybe 15 years or so, then I understand that. Or maybe you spoke to them like a couple years ago. Then they're not a roach. But people are just adding you because maybe you went to the same college or the same high school and you never said one word to them at all. But they knew of you because maybe you had a rap or something like that. You know, that's no reason to add nobody because it's not, I mean, at least in my book, it's not all about the numbers of how many friends I got. It's about exactly what it is, a social network and keeping in touch with people. I know I've spoken a lot about that. The last point, point um, three I'd like to talk about today is relationships. I know I've talked about relationships before probably on some of my written blogs but um i'm gonna talk about it for just a minute um today on my video blog i was i was out la- i was out last night you know with some good people some good friends and everything like that that i care about a lot and we were talking about relationships and people with baggage 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 well baggage is something that people normally carry on with them from relationship to relationship. Sometimes good baggage is good if you've learned from the mistakes you made in a past relationship, but people that carry the negative baggage sometimes is just whack. You will never be able to make something work with somebody if you do not put down those bags. So the new term I'm putting out there, tell a friend to tell a friend, and when you meet someone that's carrying a lot of negative baggage, call them baggage claim. Call that guy, that girl, be like, yo, that cat was baggage claim or it is born because all they did was try to make me bear the cross with somebody that that they dealt with in the past and you know what you got to get past your past people and like deal with the present and keep pushing on to the future but if somebody's baggage claim let me tell y'all they ain't worth being what they ain't worth you spending your time with so the new term out there is baggage claim because basically they're standing at the airport waiting for their bags and they're never gonna come because you know what they keep holding on to the past on that note it's your boy c nice inc y'all be safe out there if you're going out tonight it's snowy up here on the east coast you know know what I mean so be safe and you know who it is all right y'all take it easy peace